Hi, this video is about the Kerber Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show you the solution for the April 2016 Grade 7-8 Contest Question 20, which also came up in the Grade 9-10 and 11-12 contests. So the question is, by putting suitable signs plus, minus, times, dividing, and the brackets in between the digits 6666, many numbers can be generated. For example, 6 times 6 minus 6 in brackets, times 6, which would be equal to 180. Which of the following numbers cannot be generated this way? Alright, so instead of directly composing each of these, trying to compose each of these numbers with the four sixes in the question, we will instead make building blocks from which we can later generate or try to compose these numbers from the, these building blocks. Alright, now let's see what we can generate with just one 6. Well, of course we can only generate that 6, so we will write that down. Alright, now let's see what can we generate with two 6s. Well, we can have 6 plus 6, which is equal to 12. We can have 6 minus 6, which is equal to 0. Then 6 times 6, which is equal to 36. And 6 divided by 6, which is equal to 1. Alright, so these are the four numbers that can be generated from two 6s. Well, now let's see what numbers can be generated from three 6s. So let's start with this 12. Well, we can have 12 plus 6, which is equal to 18. And likewise, the 6 plus 12 is also equal to 18. Then we can have 12 minus 6, which is equal to 6. And the 6 minus 12 is equal to negative 6. Then we have 12 times 6, which is equal to 72. And likewise, 6 times 12 is also equal to 72. Then finally, the dividing is 12 divided by 6 is 2, and then the 6 divided by the 12 is 1 over 2. Alright, now let's see, let's go to the 0. So we have 0 plus 6, which is 6, which we already have here, and likewise 6 plus 0 is the same. Then we have 0 minus 6, which again we have here is negative 6, and then we would have 6 minus 0, which is 6. Again, we have that there. 0 times 6 is 0, and 6 times 0 is also 0, which we write. And then 0 divided by 6 is 0, and 6 divided by 0 is then, it's undefined, so it's an inadmissible, inadmissible operation, which we will just not write down. All right. Now let's go to the 36. Well, 36 plus 6 is 42. And likewise, 6 plus 36 is also 42. Then 36 minus 6 is 30. And the 6 minus the 36 is negative 30. Then 36 times 6 is 216. And the, again, 6 times 36 is the same. And 36 divided by 6 is 6, which we already have. And then 6 divided by the 36 is 1 over 6. All right, and now finally, the 1. We have 1 plus 6 is 7. And likewise, 6 plus 1 is the same. Then we have 1 minus 6 is negative 5. And 6 minus 1 is 5. Then 1 times 6 is 6, which we already have. And likewise, 6 times 1 is the same. And finally, 1 divided by 6 is 1 over 6, which we have written here. And 6 divided by 1 is 6, which again, we have there. Okay, so these are all the numbers that can be generated from three numbers.
or f sorry, from three sixes. Now, in order to see what we can generate from four sixes, we either take one of these numbers of the right column and combine it with a six, and or also we can take any one of these four numbers in the middle column and again combine them again with one any one of these numbers from the middle column. All right. So now let's we will do this for the first option, which is the number seven. All right. Well, first let's try combining one of these numbers and with a six. Well, what we have is 42, which if we divide it by six, then we can get seven. So we will just put a line just to show that we can get seven from doing 42 divided by six. Okay. Now the next option, option B is 13. Well, let's look here. 13 times 6 is 78. We don't have that. That means that we would then, well, here we have 7. So 7 plus 6 is 13. Okay? So we know that we can generate 7 and 13 from the four sixes. So now let's look at 42. And 42, well, again, we can just look at this, use a 7 here, and just do 7 times 6, which is 42. Now we will go to the 78. So option E is 78 and we can get 78 from just adding 6 to the 72 in the right column. And now option F, 108. Well, 108 divided by 6 is equal to 18. So we would do 6 times this 18 to get 108. Okay. And finally, we have option G, 210. Well, here we have 216, so we would just take this number and subtract 6 to get 210. Okay, so now we have showed for all of these numbers except for 54 that they can be generated with four sixes using these signs shown in the question. Now, in order to really be sure that the number 54 cannot be generated with four sixes, you would have to check all combinations of a number in the right column with a six, and also all combinations of one of the numbers in the middle column combined with, combined with again, any one of the numbers from the middle column. All right, now the key to solving this problem was not directly composing or trying to compose each of these numbers for the options by having four sixes, but instead making building blocks and then using those building blocks to compose the numbers from the options like we used here. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at caributest.com.